In this video, I'd like to talk about the dangers of delaying your dreams. What I'm referring to is the danger of waiting for some day to realize your dreams. The danger and the truth is that some day might never arrive. It's easy to assume that we'll reach the age of 60, 70, 80 or even 90. The truth is that life is short and there's no guarantee, so we don't know how much time we have. And my life or your life might come to an end sooner than we think. So take action, make it happen and stop putting it off. So here are some examples from my life where I have decided not to wait and I've made a decision and I've made it happen. And looking back, I'm so happy I made those decisions because it paved the way for the life that I get to live today. My first example is creating art and exploring my creativity. While in high school and in university, I created various bands, we recorded albums, we played shows, we created a music video and we even played a festival. And it was a very exciting time in my life that I look back on fondly. One of my first dreams was to become a rock star and I didn't let any excuses, fears or doubts hold me back. And I really enjoyed that time. And today I still see the importance of music and I enjoy playing music. My next example is going on holiday with family and friends. If this is something you dream about, work towards it and make it happen. Looking back in 2015, I did a trip to Europe. In 2016, a trip to Vietnam. And even in 2017, I did a very special trip to Mozambique. Whenever you come up with an idea or a dream, work towards it and book it, make it happen. If you can't book it right now, then start saving towards it and plan into the future. Don't keep telling yourself someday. Another example for me was going to an event, watching a band that I had admired my entire life and I still love them. This band is Blink-182. In 2011, I traveled to the US and I got to see Blink-182 perform live at the Hollywood Bowl in Los Angeles. It was the final show of their tour and it was an absolute dream come true. My next example is trying out a new hobby or creative endeavor. I've always dreamt of playing the drums and I've always dreamt of owning an electronic drum kit. And recently I purchased my first drum kit, but I've been having so much fun playing the drums. And I remember telling myself someday I'll have a house with an electronic drum kit and I'll be able to put on my favorite songs and drum along to them. And I kept on telling myself someday, well, this past year I decided I'm not going to wait much longer. I'm going to make that decision and I'm going to buy that kit and I'm going to make it happen. And now I'm busy learning the drums and I'm having the time of my life. Another example is I've always wanted to own a drone and film aerial footage for my videos. I've been very patient with this purchase. So this past year I went ahead, I purchased my first drone, the DJI Spark. I actually made a separate video on that one. So I definitely recommend you check that out. My next example is having a important heart to heart conversation with someone you love. And this is a really important one because conflicts do happen. We do have arguments, we have fights. If possible, take action on this one and reach out to that person, sit down with them and have that heart to heart conversation. I never like to go to bed after having an argument or experiencing a conflict because I never know if I'm gonna have the chance to wake up the next morning to make it good. Then my last example and possibly the most important one is making changes in your life to improve your health, your happiness and your wealth. And from my life, the first example that comes to mind was when I started my first nine to five job, I actually only stayed in that job for two weeks. I started at an online agency. I didn't like the work that I was doing. I didn't have my freedom anymore, my own time. I remember walking out of that office, not signing the contract and making a commitment to myself that I was going to create my own business and I was going to make this work and I was going to retain my freedom. Thus far, it's been an amazing adventure. I'm so glad I made that decision and I did not stay in that job. Then the other one was becoming a vegetarian in 2013 and only eating a plant-based diet so I don't eat any animals. This was mainly to improve my health, to help with the environmental crisis that we're facing and then also not to support the mass production of meat products and the suffering that happens with animals. And I must say being a vegetarian, I'm so happy with that choice. So those are some examples from my life. I encourage you to make your own list of priorities, what you want to do in your life and then take action on them and stop saying someday because you might not live to see that someday and that would be a huge shame. I'll leave you with the following quote. It is not the things we do in life that we regret on our deathbed. It is the things we do not. Take care and live your best day. I'll chat to you soon. Cheers.